my name is Grace. Today I am going to read the Bible story. Okay, guys, today the Bible title is 12th chapter that Israel came out from the Egypt. Exodus 30. 13 to 15. God's people came out of Egypt. The Israel were out of Egypt with God's help. God led Moses. Hmm? God let Moses lead the Israel. They knew God was with them. God stayed with them in the cloud. God was always with them. God showed them where to go. God showed a pillar of fire every night. In the morning, it is hot, right? So God has sent the clouds. And and in the night, it is very cold. So they, he have made a... Oh, sorry. The table is not right. Why? Yeah. In the night, it is so cold. So God has sent the fire to be warm. After the people of Israel left, Pharaoh changed his mind. He followed the Israel with his soldiers. The Red Sea was in front of the Israel. They couldn't cross the sea. They couldn't return to Egypt. Pharaoh and his army were following them. They were going to kill the God's people. So... They are going... And the Israel King Paro has changed his mind and like following them. Following them. Moses said, Don't be afraid, God will save us. God said, to Moses, raise your staff over the sea. When Moses raised the staff, they came the path to the other side of the sea. The Israel followed the path and crossed the Red Sea. Paro and his army were following them. When the Israel crossed the sea, Moses raised the stuff over the sea again. The sea swept Paro's army away. God was with the Israels. God's people were free. They were not slaves anymore. Moses and the Israel. Sorry. And Israel sang and danced joyfully. They, they praised the God. Thirteen chapter food, food from heaven. Exodus fifteen chapter till till sixteen chapter. I am thirsty, said a little girl. I am too, said the father. We don't have any water left. We are not the slaves of Egypt, but we don't have any water. The Israel traveled in the desert 
for many days. They were thirsty. They complained to Moses. Moses. The Israel kept on going. Water, water! They shout with joy. The people ran to the water, but it. But they got angry. They found the water at Mara, but the water was too bitter to drink. Drink. God said to Moses, "Throw a piece of wood into the water." Yes, Lord. Moses did what God said. Guess what? The water became sweet. People were amazing with God and drank the water happily. I am hungry," said a little boy. "We are hungry too, but there is nothing to eat," said the mother. The Israel began to complain to Moses again. I think Moses will be a little angry because they keep complaining and God is giving the good things. But they are still complaining. Moses prayed to God again. Moses said, "God will give you food." God sent down food like dew from heaven. Even every morning, people call call that food manna. They didn't know what it was, but it was like. Cookies with honey. God feed the cloth of Israel every day and night. So, like they were keep complaining. That's bad. Yes, I'll read one more story. Fourteen chapter. God's rule, rules, Exodus nineteen to twelve and twenty. People were talking to each another. What is the sound? It's the sound of thunder. It's the lightning. God's people came to Moses, Sinia, Sin, I, Sin. Israel were afraid when they heard the thunder, but Moses was with them. God helped Moses let the people mount to Mount Sinai. God told Moses to come up to the mountain. Moses wanted to hear what God was going to say. Moses asked his brother Aaron to take care of his people while he is on God's mountain. God talked to Moses at the Mount Sinai. God gave Moses ten commandments. God's people have to obey the commandments. Ten commandments. Number one, God is the only. True, God. Number two, never make idols and worship them. Number three, never misuse the Lord name. Number four, rest on the Sabbath day and keep it holy. Number five, honor your father and mother. Number six, do not. Mother, number seven, husband and wife must not commit adultery. <laughs> number eight, do not steal. Number nine, do not tell lies. Number ten, never want that. Never want what belongs to another person. God promised to protect. The Israel.
if they obey God's rule. We have to obey the rule because God's words never change. Yes, today I read the Bible story. Did you enjoy? Then bye!